Hi guys, Kathy here with Kathy's WW Journey. We are back in the kitchen. I am going to bring to you how, my recipe to make Nutella. And, and as you know, Nutella from Weight Watchers, I mean, it's like five, six points per tablespoon. This one is one point per tablespoon on the blue plant. Okay, and it's real, real easy, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's delicious. All right, so I'm going to bring you down. Okay, first we're going to need tahini, sesame tahini, and I've already mixed mine up. You know, you always got to mix that up really good. And it's going to be one tablespoon. This makes quite a bit. So there's a tablespoon. And I will tell you, if you don't use your tahini very often and it gets really, really thick, you can't stir it down. Throw it in your little processor, your little mini one, it'll break it right up for you. So, that's just a little tidbit of information. Okay. Okay, so you got the one tablespoon of tahini in there. And now you're going to need <clears throat> hazelnut oil. I don't know if you can get this in your grocery store. I got mine from Amazon. It's a big, I mean, this is 16.9 uh, fluid ounces. This is going to do a lot. I thought for the holidays, I'm going to need this. So with this, it's a teaspoon. This is very, I mean, it's 130 calories for a tablespoon. So yeah, you know, it's nuts. It's a nut oil. So a tablespoon. Or not a tablespoon, I'm sorry, I misspoke. That's a teaspoon. Okay. You are going to need the baking cocoa, whatever kind you have will do. It's going to be the one tablespoon. Then you all know I use the pure confectionery sugar, zero calories. And this one is going to be, I'm going to put two tablespoons in it. Okay, you're going to need a teaspoon of um, vanilla. And then I like to put a little vanilla paste in it. That's optional. You don't have to. Um, but I want to put a little bit in there. Just a little. I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge of my... That's plenty. This goes a long way. Okay, now you're just going to mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix our upper. Now as you can see, this is pretty thick. So what you're going to do now, you're going to add just a smidgen, a smidgen. <laughs> just a couple drops of water is what you're going to put in there, just to thin that out. Just until it's nice and smooth. Doesn't take much. Because you want it spreadable on your toast or however you're going to have this. We had some on some of my homemade uh, bread the other day. And oh my goodness. Needs a little smidgen more. You just kind of eyeball that. That probably equaled out to uh, about, yeah, I'm going to say a teaspoon. And then you just mix, 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 mix. And I already had some made. And that's what it looks like in the end. <laughs> but I wanted to bring this recipe to you because we just really enjoyed this. And 
and it's going to be one tablespoon is one point guys so you know this is going to go a long long way so you got that little chocolate sweet tooth there you have it right there <laughs> excuse me let me wash my claws oh that is amazing and that is better than any nutella out there and it's so you know the calories are much lower than those and definitely guys give this a try this is really fast and easy um, just put it in a little container um, you can keep it in the fridge and just use it anytime all right there you have the nutella yay all right guys have a great day Leave me a comment down below. Please like, share, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. I need subscribers, guys. All right, guys. I'll see you real soon in my kitchen or at my talking table. So, all right. I'll see you later. Thank you.